James Akers here, the tie guy. It's an exciting day here in my closet, for me at least. Um, I don't know if you can tell behind me. If you've been watching my videos, there's some vacant space here. I have so many ties, because I am the tie guy after all, that I'm having to make more room for them. And that's such a terrible, terrible problem to have. Not. Uh, so I have these two motorized tie racks here where I, you know, of course, run my ties. I'm, at, I'm adding two more. They're being shipped. They're on their way. And they're going to go right here and right here beside it. Then I can actually put my whole tie collection out and add to it. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. The other reason I'm so excited today is I have been wanting to try a particular brand of tie for a while. And I finally came across one that I really liked and bought it. So for the very first time today, on camera, being recorded, you're going to see me tying dun, da, 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 a Turnbull and Asser tie made in England. I have not had one. I know they're a great quality. They've been around for a long time. I mean, heck, they supply to the royal family. And they have, I think it's called a royal warrant or something like that to be able to uh, say that they provide to the royal family. Um, at first touch, it is absolutely luxurious. It actually is a really nice soft silk. It has the soft touch of a Ferragamo, but it's got a plushness of an Isaia. That's the best description I can give to it. Now, this is a, a narrow tie. You know, normally I go a little bit wider. It's about a three-inch tie. It is fairly thick for a small tie, but like I said, it has the soft touch of, of the really high-end Italian silk, but also the plushness of them. So it's kind of a combination. I have no idea if I'm going to love it or not yet. I do love the look, though. It's a very classy blue tie with red diagonal stripes. So we're going to pair it today with a red shirt, just trying to pull that red out. But for the first time ever tying Turnbull and Asser, I will give you an absolutely brutally honest review. And if I like it, then on these two new tie racks, you'll see some Turnbull and Asser ties because that's just how I roll. Let's check this baby out. So we take the tie, put it around our neck. Got to find our spot. Again, never tying this brand of tie, finding the spot's tricky. So here's the tip to you guys. When you're trying a new brand or a new style of tie, you may have to tie it a few times, but do it until you get it right. Make sure the tip of that tie is between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. Now, with this being a thinner tie this way, but thicker this way, I'm thinking I'm going to need a little extra material, so probably around this range, which is going to put the, uh, the bottom of the tie just below my pectoral muscle there. And let's see if that's right. If not, we'll tie it again. No big deal. Take the long part of the tie over top of the short part. Then we come underneath, up, and through. Ooh, I got to tell you, that silk feels nice running across my fingers. I may become a Turnbull and Asser fan after today. Love Italian fashion, but these Brits may know what they're doing here. We'll come around behind. Then we come up, over, down, and through. And I'm telling you, that just feels so good on my fingers. Um, probably at this point the best feeling tie I've ever tied. I'm just being honest as far as just the feel of the silk. Um, now we call us our checkpoint. Here I am giving you a review while I'll teach you to tie a tie. That's just how I roll. I multitask. Um, now we're going to take the long part of the tie out over the front, creating a little pocket. We'll come back in behind, up and through. Then we're going to push it down through that pocket we just created. Hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie down through. Now we're going to adjust it, and I think we're going to be a little bit short, which I was afraid of because, again, a new tie for me. Um, bring it up to the top, and let's check our length. And as you can see, I am short of my belt buckle. Now, you, I know, you see guys like this all the time. And no offense, guys, to tie your ties like this, but please tie your ties a little bit longer. So we're going to get a little bit more space. This tie is so plush that it requires a little bit more silk to get around that knot. So we're going to go a little bit longer. And this one I'm just going to tie a little quicker because I've already taught you how. So we're going to go up and through. We're going to come around behind, up over, down and through. Do, 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 checkpoint. Now we're going to come around the front, creating our pocket, up over, through. Then we're going to come back down through that pocket right there we just created. This is called speed tying. And we adjust our knot. We bring it up. And let's see how this comes together here. Now, the knot's not quite as much of a triangle as I like, but that's because of the plushness of the tie. It's a really thick tie. Let's see our length now. Now we are exactly halfway down. That's absolute perfection. As I said in my video yesterday, this way if your pants sag a little bit during the day, your tie still looks nice. If your tie comes up a little bit, it still looks nice. You've got to be between the top and the bottom of your belt buckle. So let's bring this all together, tidy it all up, see how it looks. Let's make sure that our knot is absolutely perfect. We want no gap right here. Now let's, this is a button down pointed collar. So let's uh, button it down and see how the whole thing comes together here. 
Wow, I'm, I'm digging that. This just fits that really nice. Check it out. Turnbull and Asser. Okay, honest review. Some of the best filling silk I've ever felt in my life. Um, I wish this tie was a little bit wider, so I'm going to look and get one of their wider ties. But, great. I mean, just a freaking nice tie. I mean, this is literally, I, I'm just going to be honest. It's as nice as any of the Italian ties I've tied. There you go. So, good job, Turnbull and Asser. The look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going to go through it with you right now. Today, we are mixing American, British, and Italian fashion. Um, so, I mean, our nations are, you know, friends, so that works. We're wearing an Amerta Gildo Zinnia charcoal gray suit, so Italian suit. We're wearing a Brooks Brothers red shirt with a button-down point of color, American brand. We're wearing a Turnbull and Asser blue tie with red stripes, British. We're wearing uh, that with uh, Italian belt and shoes. We've got a Ferragamo uh, belt with a uh, black belt with a silver belt buckle. And today we're going with pair, uh, Ferragamo loafers. These actually come off really easy, so I'll just let you see them here. I love the look they have the Gansini uh, as the strap going across the, the top of it. And it matches my belt buckle really well. So uh, that is today's look. If you want to see close-ups, my Instagram, which is TyGuyJamesAcres. You'll see close-ups of the tie, the shoes, the belt, some selfies of me having fun with the tie, as well as the whole look all together. So check that out. If you like my videos, please click subscribe and like. Guys, I am ready for work.